Normally, when an economy is not really doing very well, you would expect unemployment to be high. In fact, unemployment is, reg is basically quite low, around uh, 4%, and has been stable. We have a, another problem in the economy at the moment, which is this, which is job vacancies. 1.1 million uh, job vacancies, jobs that can't be filled. Now, a lot of people dropped out of the, uh, the workforce uh, during the pandemic, and they've never come back. And Britain is doing worse than, for instance, our... our uh, neighbours on the, on the continent of Europe for this. So one thing that the Chancellor is trying to do tomorrow is to get people back into the workforce. One way we're expecting him to do that is to make it easier for people to put more money into their pension pots without being taxed at kind of punitively high rates. That will work certainly for maybe for higher earners mm. and maybe for a lot of other people, help with childcare costs, maybe upfront help with uh, childcare costs for people uh, on universal credit, for instance, because we know that the cost of childcare is a real problem uh, for parents who want to get back into the workforce. Force. OK, so that's one issue. In terms of funds, what has the Chancellor actually got to play with? Well, he's got a little bit more than he was expecting. Uh, four months ago, the people who crunched the numbers crunched the numbers and uh, they thought it was going to look worse. In fact, he's going to have about £30 billion, okay. more than he expected, that is money, yeah. that he did not <laughs> expect to have. A bit of a windfall. The Chancellor was expecting that we'd be in recession by now, that really high energy prices would be clobbering the economy, making it very weak. We, we have a flatlining economy. The economy is not in a good place, but it's better than uh, we had expected back in November. So that's worth around 30 billion in terms of uh, boosting the near term public finances. That gives the Chancellor wiggle room. So what does the Chancellor do with that extra money? Uh, well, with that wiggle room, he maybe, we're expecting, is going to carry on with the help for people with their energy bills. The energy price guarantee was meant to come to an end in its current form uh, next month, but we're now expecting him to guarantee that it will basically still be at £2,500 per household per year. That's what it is at the moment, with the average household bill. That's what they've tried to guarantee. That was meant to come to an end next month. We're expecting him, though, to find the money to allow that to continue. And we should have all the details on that tomorrow.